Single items suck in junk removal, right? Are lost leaders worth it? Let's talk about it. I'm giving away a $10,000 dump trailer and many more things. I am hosting a live virtual event again. If you missed the first one, we had 700 people live. It was incredible. We are finally going to be launching to the public October 20. Six. Louis Vandervolk of Blue Crocus Solutions is giving away another $5,000 website. Matt Fitch of Junk Blitz Pro is giving away a $5,000 website. I'm giving away a $10,000 dump trailer and many more things. Click the link in the video description to register for the live virtual event. As a side note, if you guys are interested in beta testing, check the video description down below. Beta testing will be going live this summer. I hope to see you at my live virtual event for the public launch of autopilot my course 20 hours of content you get complete access to me you can book me whenever you want you could call me whenever you want you can text with me personally if you guys want to join my private community all of my resources in there i have my pricing sheet i have check in check out sheets my daily profit loss employee handbook job interview questions company recordings of 27 other companies and their sales pitch i also have a hundred call recordings of my call agents with real live calls of actual customers my phone sales script gig work worker template, job ad that I post to get employees, and my Craigslist post to advertise my business, junklaunchbyjedi.com. Tons of awesome stuff in there, guys. So if you guys want to take your junk removal business to the next level, the link is in the video description down below. What's up, guys? Let's talk about lost leaders. The reason why I bring this up is because everybody was talking about this, I think it was a few months ago, 1-800-GOT-JUNK was running a promo and you'd see their Facebook ads everywhere for mattress removal for $59. A lot of people in the comments were like, oh my God, how can we keep up? How can they do that? It's not affordable. I mean, if you really think about it, that is a straight loss, a loss leader. We're gonna talk about what a loss leader really is. We're gonna get a little more in depth, but in essence, guys, you're taking a chance on selling something really cheap and hoping the customer buys later. That's all it is. The difference though is some companies can afford to lose money on that customer and wait months up to years to earn the money back because they have enough capital to sustain all those losses. Some companies, they take a loss leader and they really want that customer to potentially buy immediately and they're hoping a certain percentage of those customers buy based on the small loss you took right there. Loss leaders are not gonna generally be a great idea if you're financially hurting or your business doesn't have capital and you can't afford this. However, this loss leader, this whole single item game, you might be making 10 bucks, 20 bucks. You might even be breaking even, so it might not be a loss completely. There is seven benefits to these loss leaders in junk removal, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But before we get into that, guys, what I want to talk about is loss. Maybe you run the same promo Got Junk does in the winter, $59 mattresses, okay? But I'm gonna use $100 just to keep it simple. So you're running this promo for 100 bucks or your single item is 100 bucks, right? You only factor in the CAC, first customer acquisition costs, and you only factor in the COGS, cost of goods sold. In junk removal, the COGS are dump, labor associated with the removal, not office administration labor, just the labor associated with the removal, and gas. Those are your cost of goods to deliver the service. Now, I'm gonna give you my reality really quick, okay? Your reality might be different because you're not paying as much for ads as I was. My cost of conversion was $55 a phone call. I had to get two phone calls in order to close. I closed 50% of my phone calls. My customer acquisition cost was $110, assuming I close every job on site. If I don't close every job on site, my customer acquisition cost goes up. But for the sake of friggin' numbers, so we're just gonna say my CAC is 100 bucks. My junk removal minimum out here in LA was 195. Let's keep it simple and go to 200. So my customer acquisition cost was 100. My single item removal is 200. Chop off 100. I'm left with 100. My COGS to do a single item, two employees on the truck, call it 40 bucks an hour. They have to drive there in LA, that's an hour, so that's 40 bucks. The removal is like another 15 minutes, 80 for the labor. So $100 for the customer acquisition cost, $180. I only dump when it's full, but if we had to put a price tag on how much it costs to get rid of the mattress, the dump fees in LA are $110, but you could fit a fuckload of stuff in a truckload. So call it 10 bucks, we're at 90, call the gas 10 bucks. Boom, we have just zeroed out and we have made no money. Now that's with me off the truck. That's with two employees and 
all that stuff. So that is fine, but here's the difference with your loss. If you're on the truck, do not include your labor. Some of you keyboard warriors and trolls might be like, oh, but my labor's worth, my, my, my money's worth time. No, it's not. Let me explain. Let's just say you're solo. And if you have an employee, fine, factor in this labor. But if you're solo, here's why. I do not want you to factor this into your cogs. As an entrepreneur, when you are starting a business, it is expected, and there is no way around it, that you will work harder, longer hours, for a very long time until you reap the rewards later. Some people do really well the first six months. Some people it takes two years. Some people it takes five. But eventually that time will come where you're making money and you are worth a hundred an hour. But in the beginning, it is not fair to your calculations because you are going to be working 80 hours a week on your business to make it grow. It just doesn't make sense because it is a necessity. It is a part of the ownership of starting a business and becoming an entrepreneur. You know that we work harder and longer hours and we take way shittier pay because we're hoping that we reap the rewards later. Back to the $100 example where I just gave the example of two people on the truck. It was a break even. Let's just say it's only you on the truck and you're not in LA, so it's probably a lot better with drive times and getting around as well. And your dump fees are probably cheaper. Just for the sake of this example, let's say you didn't pay for this lead. You weren't using Thumbtack, you weren't using Google. You got this lead for free. We're not including your labor. So your only cogs that we're including are going to be labor, dump, and gas and your single item removal is 100. It costs you five bucks to drive there, five bucks to get to the dump, we're at 10. You don't just drop a single mattress, you wait till you fill up the truck, but let's just say it costs you five bucks to get rid of it. If you were to calculate how much that one mattress is out of all the other junk, okay, fine, you're in 15 bucks. So you profited. Let's use an example of you losing money though. Let's say you have an employee on the truck, 20 bucks an hour, you're running a special for 50 bucks. Let's just say you break even or you lose five, 10 bucks. You only count his labor. And now that you know, I don't want you to factor in your labor because you are an entrepreneur, you are building a business, you are going to put in and sacrifice hours and hours. If I were to put a number of how much I get paid per hour with the amount of work I put into my YouTube channel and I put into autopilot, I am making 25 cents an hour. But I know that autopilot will be a $5 billion company and then I'll be worth $100,000 an hour someday. So do not factor in your labor it just doesn't make sense to me. Let's get into the seven benefits of why a loss leader might be worth it. Number one, you're driving around your branded truck to their house and then in their neighborhood. Neighbors are nosy. So that goes without saying, you need to have big ass fucking decals all around your truck or wrap the shit out of it. If you do anything first, it's wrap your fucking trailer or truck. If you can't afford a wrap, you can get big decals. Look at my truck. These are giant decals all the way around my trucks that only cost the 1500 bucks. And I think I, you can even get it cheaper than that. The amount of times neighbors have came up to me and I've given them a business card and I even gotten business right after that job and just went to their house immediately after. If you have an older looking truck, you know, it looks a little beat up or the trailer's beat up, clean it up and get some good decal wrap. It'll bring it to life. If you have the money, wrap it. That's number one. Number two, you get a new customer in your database. You now have a customer in your database that you can remarket to in the future. You can text message market, you can email market. They might not use you tomorrow. They might not use you next year. They might use you this year again. They might use you in two years. They might use you in three years. They might use you in five. Think about that. What if somebody passes away in their family and you end up getting a $5,000 clean out five years later? We don't need to talk about the loss leader and the measurement of time and you know uh, how long do, do you wait to, to, to do the math of when a loss leader is worth it. We're not gonna get into that, but I just want you to think about that. Number three, you get a potential repeat customer. So you get a new customer in your database, number two, to remarket to, they just might use you again without you having to remarket to them. Number four, you get a potential Referral, you need to have flyers, not just business cards, a little promo flyer that says 10% off for a friend, a family, or yourself, a 10% off that they can hand to somebody or give to somebody so that they can get 10% off their next sale. Hunter from Clutter Cleanouts, I know he's very into the whole referral program. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hunter Wilson. I am the owner of Clutter Cleanout Junk Removal here in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I have a proposition for you. So about two months ago, we rolled out a referral program for anyone that refers us to a potential client. And what that deal was that if they referred us, we got that job, we would give that 
referral partner 10% right off the top of the job. So whether that's a $100 job, you get 10 bucks, or whether it's a $10,000 job and you get a thousand bucks right off the top, we've already given out $1,200 in referral bonus. That's $12,000 in referrals that we've gotten for referral partners. So not only do you give new customers 10% off, you give the person referring 10% off, you know, you build this little system of referrals. Now, obviously your prices need to be high enough to justify 20%. Do whatever you want with the referral program. You get a potential referral, number four. Number five, if they have a house, you can ask to leave a branded yard sign in their yard for an additional discount. You're already breaking even or maybe only making a few bucks. Fuck it, give them another five, 10 bucks off or don't charge them taxes. There is no better referral than the neighbors seeing your branded sign in their yard. And you'd be surprised at how many of them say yes. Just say, hey, I'll come pick it up in a week or two. You know, if you buy yard signs in bulk, those things are only a couple bucks. But ask to leave a yard sign if it's, if it's a house. Number six, guys, whether it's an apartment, community, or houses, you can leave 10 door hangers. If you're with uh, an employee of yours, you go do five or 10 this way, he goes and drops off five and 10 this way. And if you're feeling really spunky and really like in a good mood and you got nothing else to do, knock on three doors, knock on two doors. It's not as bad in terms of soliciting. You're saying, hey, I was gonna leave this door hanger. I'm not gonna sell you anything. If you ever need junk removal services, I just figured I'd just knock and show my face and a little bit of my personality. I'm a new local business. I'm not selling anything. Here you go. Have a wonderful day, Susie. Don't sell them, don't push them, just knock on a couple doors. But you have the opportunity to leave 10 door hangers. Think about that. Number seven, a potential review. Come on, guys. That's how you start ranking in the map pack. That's how you start building up your brand. And you need to make sure you get reviews because even if you text a review immediately after, they're not all gonna leave reviews, but in the beginning, how important are reviews? Hit them on the spot. Hey, I won't charge you taxes or I'll give you five bucks off if I can send you a link right now and you leave a five-star review. It'd really help us. We're new in business. Do that for the first 50 customers, five bucks off. That's a hundred percent review rate in the beginning if you need reviews. Those are the seven benefits, guys. This isn't rocket science. I want you to think about this for a second. Imagine you do 120 single items, loss leaders, break even leaders a year. 10 a month. That is 120 reviews potential. You know, if you do the $5 off, you can pretty much guarantee almost all 120. That's 120 potential yard signs in the yard. That's a potential 120 more customers to remarket to in the future. You got 120 potential repeat customers. You got 120 potential referrals. Let's say you broke, you break even on all these. If one of those 120 uses you again, your profit. Is that worth the sacrifice of breaking even and a little bit of your time. Remember, we're not factoring in your time because you are an entrepreneur. You are here to build something amazing. And to build something amazing means sacrificing your time at a lower cost and eventually it'll be worth more, right? Is that worth it to you? You need to be the judge of loss leaders in your company. Now, there comes a time when you're so busy, loss leaders might not be worth it. We always picked up single items. I think eventually went from 195 in Los Angeles. We did drop our price to 150. We did go back down to 150. You know, we are getting repeats and referrals. We are getting organic leads, Google map leads, all that stuff. But if it was a Google lead, I was paying $110 to get that lead because every conversion is $55 on average for a Google phone call or form submission. And I close about 50% of my phone calls. So that's $110 immediately charged off the 150, let alone two guys in the truck in LA driving there and then having to drive to the dump. I was actually losing money because my customer acquisition cost was so high. However, you might not be paying that much for your leads. You might be getting more organic leads, SEO leads, cheaper leads elsewhere through Facebook or, you know, just networking. But guys, those are lost leaders and that's how I look at it. To me personally, 100% all the time, every time. As long as you go through those seven benefits, you put them into your CRM, autopilot and you remarket them in the future, I think it is an incredible strategy. And as you get bigger and you have more capital and you can deploy programs like $59 mattress removals, I think it's a great idea. Get creative with it. So it's for you to decide if loss leaders are worth it. As always, I leave you guys with this. Success is often covered in dirt, but so was gold at one point. Toodles! Whoopsh.
I want to do something special for you guys. I'm really excited to be working with Levi, and I think this is gonna be an awesome experience for you guys, and you guys can watch it on Levi's channel here. Please go subscribe to him and follow the Jedi Junk Removal SEO Build in Public series. I'm proud to announce that we have gone public for crowdfunding, so you are actually going to be buying shares in Autopilot. You can invest as low as 500 bucks. You will also get 12 months free, which will more than pay for the $500 investment you make. So if you guys are interested, I will definitely make sure all of the links are in the video description. I will pin a comment, and if you have any questions, please ask. Just another sunny day.